What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Legend of Mushroom video and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about gear sets, how to utilize them and uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it. I think a lot of people sleep on this so hopefully this is going to help a bunch of you out today. Um, okay so what are gear sets? How do you utilize them? What's it all about? Well as you can see here my current gear is Aorus Versatile Charisma. Okay I'm a mage and Counter-Strike and Evasion are just not my bag. That's not the skills I'm looking for, okay? What I'm looking for is Skill Crit and Stun. Those are the two I want. Now, this hasn't got any of those. Now, the Rainbow piece I just rolled has got Stun on it. Now, of course, the Rainbow piece is one level below, and so the HP, Attack, and Defense is slightly lower. But would that Stun really make a big difference in my gear set? Well, some of you might think, well, it might, but I don't want to use it because I don't want to lose the aura gear. But how can you do it without, you know, losing the aura gear? Well, this is where gear sets comes in. So if we click to the right of this screen right here, so I'm going to click over here where you see the little cursor. We're going to click here. Okay. Bring it back to this screen here and then click on the gear swap button, which is the little icon next to the lamp right there. Let's click on there. And you can see here we have different sets. Okay. So set one gear. This is the main gear I'm wearing right now. If we click on the arrows next to it, it's going to bring up the option of having three different sets. Okay, great. So if I go ahead and switch to set two right now, I lose a lot of power, of course, because it's lower level gear. But here's the interesting part. My set two isn't being focused on skill crit or stun. My skill set, my set two is being focused on counter strike and crit rate and possibly some evasion, maybe. The idea behind this is if I decide I do want to switch to a warrior class, which is really easy to do, by the way, you just click on the little skill button over here, click on reset, cost 4,000 gems, and boom, you can completely reset your character to another class. It's quite simple. But if I want to do it, obviously an issue is all the gear would be for a mage that I've currently got. So that's why I'm building a secondary set in the background, which is going to be for warrior. So if I go to PVP and maybe I just want to play as a warrior on this PVP event, change things up. Maybe I want to beat someone in the arena. They are a archer and my mage just can't beat them. I can just go and spend 4,000 gems, switch over to a warrior and then attack them with Counter-Strike and see if I can beat them with that. So it gives me a lot more versatility when it comes to my character. With that being said, I now I've switched to the second gear set. We can click the lamp and then we can see what I've already got on there. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I already have a stun and regeneration um, cloak right there, which is actually pretty good. But this one actually could be better because it's got higher stats. It's a higher level piece of gear. So what we can do here is I can go ahead and equip this like that. And then I can sell the one that's not so good. Now, I'm not going to put this into my mage set because it is rainbow. And as much as that stun probably would be good, I really don't want to switch out Aorus gear for rainbow gear unless both of the stats at the bottom are the ones I'm looking for. Had that level 122 chest plate been stun and skill crit, regardless whether it's a level down, I probably would have, you know, switched it out. For the aura gear but on this occasion we're just going to go to the second gear set and switch it out now this still isn't really ideal for a warrior but it's better than what i've already got in there so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll sell the 114 level one and that's me upgrading my second gear set now as you can see over here i've got counter strike and crit rate on aurus and again counter strike and crit rate and this piece up here has got combo and regeneration which is kind of mid um, but I have been, look, Counter-Strike Evasion. I have been putting Counter-Strike Evasion gear uh, in this second set. So eventually, if I want to switch to the Warrior, I do have the option to do that. It's very easy to very quickly on the fly switch your pals round or switch your skills round for that matter. But something you can't really do on the fly is just switch your entire gear set to another class because it's just, you just can't do that. You have to roll a lot of lamps and get the gear. So... If you are running a class like Mage, Archer, Warrior, and you're looking for new gear upgrades, okay? But you, you pick up, let's say I'm, I'm rolling for Aurus gear right now. Upgrades to my Aurus. Because there's pieces of gear here, where like this one here, with Counter-Strike and Evasion that are not optimal for this build. But 
if I do roll something that may be not really good for mage, but it's really good for warrior or archer, don't just sell it. Switch your gear to the set to another set and start building up the other class gear in the background. And then eventually you'll end up not only having one gear set for the main character for me, mage, you may be warrior or archer, but you'll end up having two other sets as well, which you can have all set up ready for other classes, which will give you so much more variety when it comes to playing the game, changing things up. Maybe you get bored of being a mage. You want to change over to an archer. You can do that. Or if you need to switch to take out a specific enemy, you can do that as well. Different classes perform differently in PvP, PvE, etc. So it's nice to have the, the ability to be able to change over. So don't sleep on your gear swaps and switching the gear out. Okay. Um, okay. One other thing I want to say just before we finish off today's video, guys, and it is a fairly short one today, just to give you that really cool bit of info there and how to do all that. Um, I just want to let you know that we do have a, another collaboration coming very, very soon. Pepe the Frog is coming <laughs> to Legend of Mushroom. I actually played this collaboration on the Korean server like two months ago. Uh, well, no, not two months ago, just over a month ago before Legend of Mushroom had their global launch. It's actually a pretty cool collaboration. There's a whole bunch of stuff for you to unlock in this. It's very free to play friendly, but there's also the stuff there for you pay to play players that want to boost and get yourself some pretty cool items. Remember, if you are going to go ahead and purchase pack to inside Legend of Mushroom to boost your gear up, get some lamps, roll for gear, do the rush events, whatever it is you're buying inside Legend of Mushroom, make sure you do it with Aptoid because with Aptoid, you're going to be getting some cash back every time you make a purchase inside the game. There are links down in the description so you can go ahead and get that all set up for your app wallet and also your Aptoid game store to download Legend of Mushroom. Just make sure you link your game so when you log into the Aptoid version, you can just log straight into your account. There's also a code down below, Worthy Mush, all capital letters, one word, Make sure you go to the rewards section on your app wallet and put that in promotion codes. That way you get an extra 5% cash back on top of the app toy reward that you'll be get or already be getting, which can go up to 25% depending on how much you've been using it. So guys, I hope you enjoy all the cashback stuff and enjoy that extra 5% down below in the promotion code. Also, you'll notice on this special event that's coming, the Pepe collaboration, that there is another gift code here, Pepe Room, which you can actually redeem in the game. In fact, I don't think I've actually redeemed that one. So the Pepe, thank you very much for the code. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this No, now before we go. So redeem code and we're going to do Pepe Room. Apparently, this is the new one I haven't done yet. And there we go. Diamonds, PAL tickets, skill tickets and speed ups. Make sure you get yours by typing in Pepe Room into the game anyway guys i hope you enjoyed these tips and hopefully they do help you out if it's something you wasn't doing before if it was something you wasn't doing before please let me know down in the comments if this video has actually helped you today don't forget to smash the like button share it with your friends and i'll catch you in the next one remember don't hallucinate stay safe and of course peace out